it's Jen. I have a video today. I am going to share some products and some projects that I've been working on over the past month. Bear with me because it's going to be like really kind of random and all over the place. Um, but I want I wanted to get this done today and just share a few things with you guys. Um, my iPhone is having mega issues focusing. I don't know why. Um, I've already tried this video a couple times. So I'm going to um, just kind of leave everything here so that hopefully it will stay focused. But I picked up these glass bugle beads at AC Moore and the company is under new management as of the past year and they're remodeling all of their stores, I believe. Ours just finished their remodel. And they are doing away with some of their old product lines and have some new product lines, so I'm gonna share a few things about that. But they had these bugle beads on clearance. I picked them up in several colors and I actually got three in this color because I love this um, light blush color. So I made three different shaker cards with it. I'm gonna save my favorite for last. Um, I do really like this one here. Um, the thing that I don't like about this one is I used vellum instead of the harder acetate plastic and the little beads will put indents in the vellum. So I am going to definitely be sticking with the harder acetate for my shaker cards. Um, I really want to bring this up. I hope it will focus okay here. See, I, I don't know why. It just like keeps trying to refocus. But I stamped this in the background here. We'll just leave it there. Um, with this, I also picked up this color box pigment stamp pad at AC Moore um, because I liked, first of all, I've never used a color box ink and I really liked how it coordinated with the beads. But I have to say, I really, really like this. It's very wet, it's great for embossing. Um, the color seems to be very rich. So I do like that. Um, I just put a piece of clip art in there and used some frontage on a chipboard Polaroid frame. Added banner, did some layering, put some, used white gel pen there. Okay, I am going to try and come up and see. So you, and then I, so this one I stamped and then used some pearlized, um, if anybody knows why my iPhone is doing this, I've never had issues with it. It just keeps trying to refocus and refocus and refocus, and I don't, I don't know why. Um, but I use some pearlized embossing powder over that, and so in person it has a little bit of shimmer there in the background. I made this one here that just says Dream and Hope and has these two little heart shakers. And then this one I love. So this is the harder acetate. And I cut this out with a little yellow bicycle um, die. And I'm gonna show you that because Hobby Lobby has some new dies. And so this stamp is new as well. I'm gonna show you that. But this one you can see a little bit better, the shimmer from the pearlized embossing powder. And then I'm gonna tell you how I did these flowers as well. So AC Moore has a new stamp line called Cam and Chloe. And all of the stamps are 250, or I'm sorry, <laughs> all the stamps are $5 no matter which ones you get, but you can use, this is gonna, focusing is gonna drive me nuts, you guys. Um, you can use a coupon on them so you can get any of the stamps for 250 and some of them are really really good size so I picked this one up I haven't used it yet but this one here I used to make the flowers and leaves and then this butterfly is what I used in the background of the shaker and so to make these flowers I was trying to remember exactly how I did this um, for the leaves, I just colored, I used one of my distress markers and colored right on the stamp and stamped it, cut it out. And then I just took my Versamark um, ink, the plain, and just put Versamark all over it and then used the um, 
pearlized clear embossing powder all over it. And I did that on Bristol paper, so it's pretty nice heavy weight. And I did the same thing here, only I used, um, I used one ink to stamp it and then did a little bit of water coloring and then used the clear Versamark and the embossing powder. So I really like the way that that came out and just did some layering here with some dyes. And then the hello, I did the same way as I did the roses. And I used these little yellow bicycle dyes. So our Hobby Lobby has a whole bunch of new products. That's one thing I like about Hobby Lobby is they turn over their products and don't have the same stuff all the time. So they have two new die sets. I have two of these already. I absolutely love them. Um, the Dream and Hope on this one are from one of the other sets I have. So they have this one that has hi and hello and thanks. And then there was another one I want to pick up. I uh, picked them up with a coupon. So very simple insides to these. And so these are the bugle beads with the acetate and they make a beautiful shaker card. Okay, one other card and then I'll show you guys some haul stuff. This is a piece of fabric, like chiffon fabric that has these little polka dots in it. And I've been doing and have picked up some um, silk ribbon to do um, floral embroidery with. Um, these I actually did with, so I, I, I did it, these are embroidered on here, these flowers, and I did that with seam binding, um, but I've been watching a lot of videos on the silk ribbon embroidery, and you really do have to have the silk ribbon um, because it can pass through fabric so easily. So I picked up some online and I've been doing just a little bit of that. I have, I definitely have some um, projects in mind that I want to do. So, and then I just layered in some different flowers. I gessoed and glittered these little guys. And these were some of my book leaves that I've made in the past and just embossed Hello Friend on there. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and sit down here and see if this will just cooperate. So I picked up at Hobby Lobby, this is absolutely, I don't know how old it is, it's by Cart Bella. Um, it's called Baby Mine. And it has the prettiest papers in it. Um, I didn't necessarily pick it up for the baby thing. It, it has one paper with bottles and one paper with like little baby blocks. But the rest of the papers, like this rose paper over here, is so gorgeous. And all of these other papers can be used, you know, for anything you like. And then it also came with um, a whole bunch of cutouts. And it does have like um, the patty cake, little Bo Peep. Mary had a little lamb. Um, a few of the other ones I could, you know, like the roses and the bows and the little dress, I could use some for other things. Um, and these little birds over here. I I just fell in love with this. So it was $8.99. I used a 40 off coupon on that. And then I was at um, Tuesday morning. I don't go to Tuesday morning very often because we don't have one near here. But um, whenever I am out by it, I go to it, and I usually do not find very much at all. Everybody finds all this stuff the Tuesday morning. Ours never has it. So we were at Tuesday morning the other day. I had like a maximum of 15 minutes because we had to be somewhere. And of course, they had like just tons of stuff. But um, I picked up these thickers specifically to go with this paper. Um, Love them. Okay, so TJ Maxx, I also picked up this frosted film which has sticky back, which, and it was $2.99. They had a few of them, and after looking at it, I wish I would have picked up another one. But I don't know if anyone has ever used this. It has this like 
frosted shimmery finish to it. Um, and it peels off and it's sticky. But what I was thinking, because I make so many of my own embellishments and flowers and stuff, or any of my watercolors, that I could put this over the top of it and it would give it, you know, just a really nice finished look. And you get quite a bit of it. So I picked that up. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of random sewing stuff. Like they had awesome safety pins. They had. The day before, Anya and I were saying how it would be great to have some pink safety pins for some of her ballet stuff, and they happened to have breast cancer pink safety pins there. I mean, it was just crazy. Picked up these um, little Prima art tiles. Um, oh, and I picked up these little um, straight pins that have like these little glass blue and yellow glass beads on the end. I thought that that would be really nice for like when I make a pin cushion for someone. Okay, so I picked up these two dies at Joann's. Um, I think they're um, discontinuing this whole sm smaller set and they didn't have that many left. They were like 60% off, I believe. But I've been wanting to, I've looked at this vase a million times, so I thought that would be great and I really liked this one for um, just for a spray in the corner of a card. So I picked those up. I picked up um, some dim dimensional fabric paint that I just want to try um, to do some texturizing with on cards. I have been looking for a really good white um, painter's pen and I've watched some YouTube videos. I guess the Elmer's white painter's pen is supposed to be fabulous um, but I've looked for it. I don't haven't seen it in any of our stores. Um, I picked up this one. It's ultra fine and I don't know what the brand is. Um, and I got this at Hobby Lobby, so I am going to give it a try. I, where is the brand? Okay guys, so when I got done videoing, I was opening this painter's pen up and I'm looking at it. It's so funny, this is by Elmer's. So this isn't specifically, or maybe it has new packaging since the videos I was watching. So this is is called, um, it's just called Painters Ultra Fine. It did come in like three different thicknesses, but it is by Elmer's and it does work like super well. It has a, um, I ended up taking the whole thing off. I don't think I was supposed to do that. And um, I was being very impatient with it getting started and yeah, but it works excellently. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby in the artist section. So you can do a really, like you can do a really light thin line. And if you press a little harder, it, you know, it does a thicker line. And this again is the ultra fine. But um, yeah, I really like it. Um, and I guess what people were saying about this is for whatever reason, this ink or paint, um, sits on top of paper and doesn't soak in as much so it's you know it stays pretty white what else oh i picked up <laughs> i use lighters a lot to seal ribbon i always have a couple lighters on my table and my little spinny thing but i saw this one before and could have kicked myself for not picking it up but it has a little mason jar on it so i saw it the other day i picked that up um, I think that's all the stuff I have right here. I have a list of projects that I want to make. I want to make a needle book for my needles that are for my ribbon embroidery. Um, I have a whole bunch of different cards I want to do. Um, so yeah, between new puppy who is taking a nap right now, she is so good in her crate. Um, she has a playpen and a crate and when she gets when I know that she needs a nap, I put her in her crate and she just lays down and is quiet and goes right to sleep. She's so sweet. I am going to give her a bath later tonight, so maybe um, I can do a video with her after she's all cleaned up. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's all I have.
that for right now. I don't want to keep you guys forever. I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.